Let's see what's in the bag. It's another light. It sounds like I've already got. This time I got it from uh, Banggood, I think it was. So it cost me this money, exactly the same light for this money. Um, so you've already seen these before, I'm going to show you the whole thing again. But no different, same light. Obviously, the people which I purchased these other lights from locally got them from the same place. And you know, put their margin on as you'd expect. So I thought, right, I need another one. I'm going to buy it from overseas this time because I now I'm not so desperate to get some decent lighting, so I could wait a little bit long, longer for it. So I was doing the same thing, taking these flaps off. Don't need them on there. And I mount it up here, and I'm actually going to put a bracket. I've ordered some brackets, um, which I'm going to put on my shelf, which is just here. And um, the idea then is to have them mounted on the edge, so it's all just nice, even lighting right across. Anyway, that's another project I have to do. Right, let's see what's in here. This is a CRTE B2 1139.0396.02. Now, this is a Roland Swartz part, and this is a uh, 10 megahertz crystal uh, oscillator, OCXO, which is for the CMU 200. I've got to figure out where this goes exactly and plug it in and improve the stability of the unit because the unit I've got it's just got a basic oscillator in there. So I've already done a calibration, I did a video on it uh, a month or so ago, but it didn't stay um, accurate enough, so it's actually drifted off a little bit between then and now. So, right, I need a better oscillator because it's not accurate enough for what I'm doing. So, I've got one of these. I'm not sure which option this works out to being because it's a B. Is it B11, B12 option, something like that. I think B2 is the B12, which I think is the better one. So I just fired up the uh, Roland Swartz and had a look at the option menu, and uh, it is B11 and B12, B12 being the better unit. Now, the reason this doesn't quite match up with the codes is that there's actually two versions. Um, so this is a CRTU module, but the CMU module um, is exactly the same thing. Apparently, we've just um, a different code on it for the, for the different part number. Alright, so the CRTU B2 is actually for the CRTU uh, unit as a as a, as a um, time base for that. But if, it's, if it said CMU B12, it would be for this one. It's just different labelling, I believe. It's, I've seen it mentioned in several different places that it's, uh, it's the same unit. I'll find out when I plug it in. In theory, it's supposed to be the same. Alright, see what's in this bag. A very interesting bag. Wrong power cable, of course. Doesn't matter. Heaps of those. So this is a nine volt, five amp power supply. Now, okay. Now remember what this is for. Now I also purchased this as well. I'll stick some links down below for these. I've got this in Banggood I think. Um, and so you've got a 2.1mm jack there which goes onto the charger and you've got some male jacks the male plugs. Three of those. Now the reason got this is because I need a 9 volt supply to run my lighting here and now I've, I've kind of got two lights running off 12 volts which I've got turned right down to try and um, not put so much stress on the LEDs, but I'd rather run it for 9 volt supply. And um, I've just got the other lights as well. So I'm going to have three lights, my for 9 volts, using this block and this adapter unit. So all just daisy chains together. That's what I like about this is daisy chains. And they're all about the same distance apart, the right, the right kind of dimensions. So it works out really nicely. Let's see what's in here. I think I recognise it as being a uh, auction item. It is. Nothing too exciting, but they were cheap.
So that's a couple of first aid kits. Because the ones we had um, got damaged in the flood and they were getting a bit old anyway. And these were um, available and relatively cheap for the price, so I've got a couple of them. So this item here has arrived today. Let's see what's in the box. It's another autumn from Turner's Auction, so it's another online auction store. I don't know what it is, we'll find out. I really don't remember. Alright, okay. A whole bunch of power adapter things, nothing particularly exciting I'm afraid. Um, just a whole bunch of them, extensions. These are Elto brand, which isn't actually great quality, but they were relatively cheap. I don't know what I paid for now, but how many have got? One, two, three. Some of these have switched and uh, fuse protected as well, which is, I've actually got one like this already in the motorhome. It's a nice size because it's got six outlets on it. Um, no, the fuse protected one, well, surge protected one. HPM, this is a good quality brand as well. Um, it's got a tripper on the socket. First time I've seen that before, anyway. Um, another one here, set another six way with a fuse uh, overload protection and main switch. HPM, another good quality brand. Jackson, yeah, never heard of that one, but anyway, it's probably some budget thing. It's got an overload on it, so it's something. Another Elto one, nothing special about that one. Extension lead with a test tag. Get this untangled. Is that from Turner's? No. With an expired test tag, it's due two years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's probably fine anyway. I mean, I have to check it obviously. For, oh, oh, before I use any of this stuff, I have to test it. Make sure it's okay. No extension lead, is it? Yeah. Got a day stamp on that one, actually. If you ever see these little circles, you got this little circle to see, there's like an arrow in it. It's a day stamp. Um, it just, generally, they only use for a year and month. This one says 17. It's got, it's got one seven each side of the arrow, and it's between five and six, so it's either um, June or. or um, May, one of those two months, because they're not particularly precise at setting them. So, this is a common thing for traceability. It's an Arlick brand, that one. This one's quite a nice one. I do like this right angle one, especially with the piggyback plug on Very handy, you don't, need, don't lose an outlet then. And here's a brand new call, not touched, Powertech. That's a lot of budget thing. Powertech's uh, J-Car, J-Car branded. Um, but yeah. Brand new, unused, 10 meters. So I think I paid about $70 for all this lot. Something like that. Um, considering they're sort of $20 each to buy them new, I think that's all right. Extension leads, probably 20 bucks as well. This and the Zealand prices, I don't know what it'd be. You know, overseas are probably cheaper than that. But, I don't know, these ones are probably about eight bucks each. It's pretty crappy things, maybe 10 bucks. But um, so these better ones are certainly more. This one here is worth about 50. So I got my money's worth anyway. And these sort of things you often need. I don't need them all right now. Um, when I had the flood in January, I lost a lot of these kinds of units. I had loads of these laying around, you know, in various places and rooms for kids and stuff like that. And um, got it on the floor, obviously. They got destroyed. So I actually lost a lot of these. You only replaced about half of them. I hope your lighting's a bit better. I've got three lights now. So got three lights running nine volts, and it's going quite wide across the bench. It's probably that wide directly above the bench so it should give more even lighting. I've got the two outer ones brighter than the middle one because obviously you're going to get some overlap there trying to keep it more even and uh, yeah seems to be working okay so far. All right, got my bag item here let's have a look see what's in it. So these are um, little cold shoe mounts for cameras. The idea there is you can Bolt this onto a surface or a device, it's, a, it's probably a quarter inch in it. Then you can put a, a cold shoe fitting in there, like such as my lighting, they've got cold shoes on them. So I'll just mount onto those. The reason I got this, or well, a bunch of these, is that I could then mount these onto the edge of my shelving, side on, and mount my lights onto these units. So I'll just stick a countersunk screw into the edge of the shelving, I can mount my lights on the edge 
and I'll tuck everything out of the way and just tidy up my lighting slightly more. Right now it's kind of in the way of bits and pieces. But um, I've got these because I don't need this piece. Also you could use that if you need to mount a cold shield or something. You know, like a, um, a tripod mount or something like that. You could do that. But um, yeah, that's not what I got them for. I got them for that so I can just mount the cold shield straight on and mount my lights onto it. Let's see what's in it. That was really fast. I ordered this yesterday. So it's a uh, XLR cable. Nothing particularly exciting about that really. Uh, just a 3 pin XLR. But that's really fast. I only purchased it yesterday. That got it really quick. That's amazing. Because I am raw. You just take a picture day. This is for a item I have on the way. Bit of a reminiscent item I suppose you could say. Um, we'll find it out when I when it comes along, when it arrives, but I'll need that. Right, next item. Oh, excellent. Now these are for my monitor setup. This is a uh, mini display port to HDMI adapter, and there's also a mini display port to HDMI cable. It's supposed to be. HDMI that end, so this is just the cable itself, straight cable. So I'm going to... now the reason I've got this is because I've got a new monitor. I actually had trouble getting it up and going properly. It's a 4K monitor, and um, I've problems getting the right resolutions and stuff like that. And I'm not actually getting the right refresh rate. So I think I need to be using one of these cables instead of what I'm currently using in order to get that to work the way I want it to. So I've got two different versions, as you can see. You've got HDMI adapter itself and a cable. So. I'll try this one first because that'd be easier. But if that doesn't work, then I've got an adapter as well to try out. So not particularly exciting. Um, I mean, it's just a mini display port. Because my graphics card on my computer, it's got two, two mini display port outputs, a DVI and a HDMI output on it. So it's a what is it? Nvidia? Is it Nvidia? Set nine fifty or something like that. I, uh, is it AMD 7950? I can't believe it. I'm not really into computer stuff. Right, it's a three gigabyte memory video card. It's quite a chunky one. It actually came with a computer that was picked up a little while ago and it apparently used to be used for video editing by someone. And it had lots of upgrades in it, good ones. So um, that came with it and has a really good video card. So um, I've kept on using it and it seems really accurate. It's running my 4K display and a 1080p display at the same time. But I just want to get the resolution the frame rate up high on one of them because it's a little bit low but uh, otherwise it's all right 